Okay, the portion of koach, once regular, once with a melody, and then a bit of grammatical discussions. So, vayikach korach ben yitar ben kehat ben levi vedatan vaaviram benei eliav veon ben pelet benei reuven. Now with a melody, vayikach korach Ben Yitzhar ben Kehat ben Levi Vedatan Vaviram ben Eliav Veon ben Pelet ben Reuven. Okay, a few things to um, talk about here. We have a lot of examples for the uh, construct chains Ben Yitzhar ben Kehat ben Levi. Ben Pelet. So the noun Ben, which means son, is written in the absolute state when it stands by itself with a Tzere. When it is in the construct state, as in all of these cases, meaning of, okay, something of, son of, it is with a Segol, with a shorter vowel historically. So we have with a segol, with a segol, with a segol, with a segol. Ben Yitzhar, Ben Kehat, Ben Levi. We don't distinguish between the segol and the tzere in pronunciation according to uh, the common Israeli pronunciation. Then we have Benei Eliav and Benei Reuven. The text here is enigmatic in some aspects. I'm not getting into the whole reasons why, but uh, some have suggested alternative readings for this verse. Note that bene is the plural form, is the masculine plural construct of banim. We had pene in with beha alotecha, the portion of beha alotecha. So we had panim and pene. Now we have banim, which would be sons of, sons, and bene, which would be sons of. So it's the masculine plural construct, okay? Um, now, vayikach, what is the root of this verb? It's a, it's a quite unusual form uh, or root. The root is lamed, kof, and chet. Lamed, kof, and chet. But it behaves like those pei nun verbs. That's a more advanced point. And you can see that the lamed assimilates into the kof. So instead of something like vayilkach, which we would expect, vayilkach, the lamed assimilates into the kof and is reflected by the dagesh in the kof. So we get vayikach korach, and the root is lamed kofresh, lamed kofret, a verb, subject, and then the subject continues. Subject, 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 subject. What do they take? It's a bit fragmentary, okay? And it continues to the following verse. So this led rabbinic exegesis to some uh, homiletical explanations. Uh, might be textual issue here. But anyway, uh, that's vayikach, and the subject continues into the next verse. So it's really a compound subject that stretches uh, even beyond one verse. And that's it for Korach.